Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of City Skyline, Circle City Roundabout now. So, at last episode, I think, before we do another time skip, we're gonna keep building up Sandra Shore here. Uh, just add a bit more zoning. Uh, we are in need of more industrial spaces, but uh, that's not really what I wanted to build in Sandra Shore. Moria is gonna be all about industry. Definitely. It's gonna be a big pit mine, more or less. Um, and I suppose we could build some new districts down this way. That's probably what they're gonna do in time skip. Start gridding out this whole area. That or Cape Nor, or maybe the bits and pieces we miss here. I don't know. We'll be gridding a bit. That's definitely <laughs> something on the, that's on the agenda. Need more roundabouts. Fortunately, this area is pretty much flat, so roundabouts shouldn't be that much of an issue. Actually, there is a bit of an incline here. But not all that much. As you can see, there is a bit of a mess here. That's where we, where I basically dumped excess mass from the excavation project over here. Uh, we'll sort it out. We will sort it out. Right, we were supposed to build um, some exits to the highway here. I completely forgot about that. I do need some place here for exit points. So we'll probably build a circular structure here that I'll connect to, well, some roundabouts in the area. Most likely this one. Possibly this one. I don't know. We'll see. These are areas that I can at least fill in. Um, but with what? The demand right now is not for commercial, but for more residential zones. And you know what? We're gonna have residential shores, er, residential zones there. And I think a set of offices here. And sure, let's build some offices right there. There is no squares. There is it. No, it's all fully taken. And uh, the rest of these are also going to be party, party things. There we go. All zoned in. Um. Right. There's no middle road here. There isn't supposed to be either. Never mind. And this is still Sandra Shore. Uh, let's build... Yeah, let's... Party stuff on that side. So on, so that's where. And then let the, this rest of this be offices. And just a few more homes. There. Okay, that's all the zoning of Sundershore I'm going to do. Until I sort out what I'm going to do down here. I'm going to have to create some access point to the highway. That's going to ease up the burden on the very beleaguered roundabouts up here. Oh boy. Yeah, now that we zone this up, this exit is definitely been in use. And it's just an exit. Aren't they driving onto the highway here? Someone's driving in. Strung in. Into the highway system and off he goes. Yeah, it works. Again, it's not the most elegant system, but it works. And I think I just saw the car. There we go. Car that goes from highway into the roundabout and then into the. He's trying to merge out and exit here. By the way, I did build a quicker oh, 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 an off ramp up here simply because I expected this to be an absolute mess. So here we have one exit point there and point there. Of course, if you come, come from this direction or you want to go this direction, you can't use this connection. But this at least helps out a little bit. It uh, means that cars don't really have to go up there, in there, and into the roundabouts there and through. So they have a sh on, on slight, slight faster way. 
I think I upgraded all these roundabouts, and I'm suddenly I'm a bit uncertain. I'm fairly certain I had the priority signs on all these. Yeah, I did. So all these should be obeying the rules. I am almost certain that I have missed some. There must be some roundabouts in the city where I've missed switching out the priority rules. Since I can't put that in my probable uh, structures. Uh, okay, two fear services. Same thing there. Dead person waiting transport. Yeah. Are we having a death wave? That's the first question I need to ask. We are, actually. Not a very big one, but a death wave nonetheless. But you should have more than enough cap capacity. Oh, that's crematoriums. Never mind. As for the burial thing, we're already a good, a good long length of the way done. The real fun thing is going to be when, once we start to empty all of these things. But yeah, we're going to fill all of those and get unlock the um, building achievement, and that's going to be that. I'm going to build as many of the special buildings as I can. In time, at least. Yeah, services. We should go through everything. Since we added so many new buildings. Heat is fine. Water and power. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we could use more of... In, more incineration plants. I'm going to hold off on that for a bit. Health is... Oh. That, 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 that is death care. Health care. We don't really have hospital coverage down here. Could use more of that. Fire safety is... Okay-ish. Yeah. Um, the problem is that this is actually... Dang it. Yeah, the problem is that this is a uh, an avenue, so the fire trucks can't go both ways. But if I build here, they can go into the roundabout and turn around. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that then. Right? Because... No, that's actually wrong. They'd go the other way, won't they? Um, wrong side. Never mind. Uh, fine, be over there instead. Yeah, yeah. Not enough electricity. Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> It's on some light commercial on the other side here, then. Fill that in and it should be quite sufficient. There we go. Okay. Fire safety is now okay-ish. Yeah, this whole area is kind of lackluster. Again, simply because, as you can see, this road is very separate, separate from the rest of the town. I could build, you know what, let's build there. Tiny little firehouse. Should be enough to fill in that, at least. Uh, police coverage. Much the same story here. Not much crime going on up there, though, so I'm not going to bother with it just yet. Education, well... No, it's university. We don't really need to check that. We are gonna need some more schools. This is a cul-de-sac. I should probably build up here somewhere. Uh, let's build a school there. that reaches most people. We are need a high school as well. That seems fine. So of course there is one thing I've been ignoring for a very long time and that is the emergency shelters and pretty much everything else too. Earthquake sensors. For example. 
could use a few more of those. Let's see if we can find the intersection that is suitable for it, like there. Yeah, that's pretty good for earthquakes, I suppose. Uh, we don't get to see the tsunami warnings, sadly. The range of them. Weather radars. This building covers the whole city. And it has to have a road adjacency. Um, in that case, let's build it somewhere out here. Wait a second. Didn't I zone these things? I thought I zoned the entire uh, airport. Apparently I forgot a little bit. Okay. More than a little bit. Well then. Okay. Um, some homes there. I thought I finished zoning everything here. Oh yeah, we wanted to build the uh, weather radar thingy bomb. It's not a big structure. Somewhere. Where do I want to put it? You know what? Let's go. Actually, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for. Ah. Can't even remember. There is one. One set that lets me see this. The information I offer after this week. Well, I suppose that's gonna be good enough. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks to tear down these big homes, but. Yeah, let's face it, who really wants to live on like the exit ramp of a highway. 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 That would tear down two homes though. Ugh. I need options. Better options. Ah, heck with it. Let's tear down some industry. Except that's a crematorium, so we can't tear it down. Um. Must be some tiny little gnat corner where I can just sn snag this in. Somewhere where it's kind of cramped. Ah, that's gonna be fine then. Let's build it there. I only need one. Yeah. Uh, deep space radar. That one is a bit bigger. Can't build it on water. You don't. You don't say. It has to have road edges. At and Van Hammer you know Bank, we want you to trust us with your money. Because it's with your money that we can make you more money. How? It's not um, funny business. It's money. Does it have business. some kind of you give your money to us nope. and it will grow with interest. That's the plan at least. Maybe that's too complicated for you. Imagine planting a money tree in the ground and watering it. Dang it. Hold on. Imagine it's a road there that ruins everything, but here you fed it more money and after digesting it would uh okay. There we you go. You want to go money fishing, so you use a little money to catch a big money. Big deep now, space radar. Now just come in and talk to us. We have even more mountain. metaphors that allow us to avoid saying what we really do with your money. Because that in uh, no way is in danger of sliding down the mountainside. Not at all. It's perfectly really safe like right there. A radio host, <laughs> but if I could change one thing, it would probably be to see the faces of all our awesome listeners. I'm not sure how I can though, since I'm sitting in this booth all day. Maybe if there was a big chat room or a bunch of mirrors. Gaze at uh, let's see now. So we probably Lock should uh, deal with, with uh, shake hands with the turtle. Radio masts. At the city zoo, you can experience the wild and wild quite a few of those. exhibition let's build yet. One up here on the Come mountain down this weekend to meet our newest one in. edition, a three-toed sloth named Barbara. Dang it. She'll hook you with her smile. So we can build one over here. And hook you again with her curved toes, used to grasp trees in the no. wild. 
after uh, that, take a gander at another new species. Well, a then again, we've already determined that we're not going to build anything behind here, so... Type of bird, due to a zoological right error. next to the, 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 the station. Family. Book now and get a free handful of pellets to feed the fish. Limit four per family while supplies last. We'll look forward to seeing you where the animals live in rooms painted to look like home. And yeah, I do think the I'm going to go with the small radio masts. They're just easier to deal with Listen than the closer. massive one. It's the sound of refreshment. Because these Pop will fit in refreshing. quite nicely in all our Pop roundabouts. Belch the best. This is City's Radio. I'm L. You know, like the letter. Ooh, best music track ever. I just really like the, the Cities in Motion uh, opening menu music. Really do like that. Everybody wants big, tall radio masts near an airport. Everybody, especially pilots, they love these things. Then again, there's not supposed to be any aircraft there, so... Should be fine. Oddly enough, the marinas aren't really covered. None of them are. At any rate, we're doing good there, I suppose. We have quite a bit of disaster coverage going on. Uh, one here. It's almost as if we're preparing for something. And that seems fine, just out of curiosity, the large radio mast. The problem is that it has this incredibly annoying footprint, which makes it very difficult to place. And it takes up so much space, and and it would be allowed to be. Oh, oh! Are you really telling me you can let build that on a steep embankment? Hmm. Let's have a look. Yeah. Sadly, I now don't see the squares. I lost this zone out. Um. Okay, if I do that, how many zones am I running? Almost none. Yeah, I don't have power, that's true, but... Uh, don't give us much range as I thought. That's because you don't have power, obviously. Um, <laughs> Do like that. Okay. Do you need water as well? And what's going on here? Is this some kind of radio shadow thing? Because if they actually... That's kind of cool if they, if that's actually true. If they, they're not... Uh, yeah, basically if they... This hillside, you can't get the radio signals because it's a mountainside. Uh, let's click one here. I assume that's actually not the case, but I don't know. Sort of looked like it. At any rate, that's about as good coverage as we can get. Earthquake, we did already did that, so that's fine. Now we need emergency shelters, and we don't have many of those. Yeah, we have shelter for... Oh... 40,000 at the moment. So we should almost, tri almost triple that. Let's see if we can find somewhere. Why do I see the underground roads at this point? Is that because I've... Uh, 
That's annoying. Why do I see underground roads when I try to build emergency shelters? Because I really don't need to see the underground roads. Oh, it's because you switched to tra escape routes view, so you need to see all the roads. Arg! That's kind of ugly, to be honest. It shouldn't be like that. Uh, can I rotate this to be like this way? There we go. Space already occupied. Yeah. Oh, that's because you can't connect to the road. Never mind. This is a cul-de-sac, so that would be a decent place, except you would kill buildings on the far side, too. Is there a footpath here? Yes, there is. Alright, we're gonna build one here. Of course, that does mean we're gonna have to do some switches here. Because we do not accept traffic lights. That's what you installed everywhere. Okay, so priority signs. Well, I didn't consider this. Um, <laughs> well, the traps are going to yield no matter what. Uh, you're going to yield when you exit that point. And uh, there we go. And there are no traffic lights now, right? I removed all of them. Yeah, it looks like it. Good. Kind of annoys me that it basically creates tons of traffic lights and stuffs, but... At any rate, we're gonna need more of them. Uh, it should say total capacity somewhere. <laughs> Can you actually fit in all your citizens? Yes, no. Maybe. <laughs> that kind of metric. Um, let's see, what's going on here? Since I can't actually see... Oh yeah, it's a certain servicing train. Um, yeah, let's build one here. That's okay. Again, we're gonna have to shuffle around things here. No traffic lights there. Um, and that's the only one you set up, I think. Priority signs. Did a truck just exit the emergency shelter? I think one did. Of course, I have not set up any ex evacuation routes. There is that. Okay, that's most of this city coverage. Not much coverage going on here. In the city interior here. Um, dang it, you're gonna blow up tons of buildings if I do this. What if I go here? Yeah! Much better. We used to be fire, very cold as a storm. Of course, again, I think we'll have to switch priority signs. At the very least, yeah, priority signs. Um, That did change that road as well. No traffic lights, right? I'm tiny. I tiny. I'm a tiny bit paranoid about this, given all the issues we've had. Uh, da -da -da. Ah, come on. Coverage. Good. Did they build one over here? I did, but... Huh? Why won't it project down this way? I know this is a one-way street, but is that why it doesn't project any kind of... Yeah, look there! See? And there it's fine, but here... Why won't it project anything down this path? Because that's a one-way street. Huh. Curious. Whereas this 
connects to everything. Is there something wrong with this roundabout? I mean, it's connected. People are going there. Priority signs. Yeah, that's fine too. Huh. Curious. Why did it project anything? Um. Or is this unique to... Let me see this. I want to see. Is it unique to... No, it's not unique. It's just, it, it doesn't count the connection for some reason. See there? It'll spread all around the inside there, but it won't spread that side. And this will spread up the same way. Huh. Curious. So you can't spread against the pro or one-way road. That's what it looked like, but that doesn't compute either because the other street was one way too. Uh, something curious going on there. Let's see. Uh, I need something out in the old harbor area. Can we build one on this slope here? We can. Excellent. I'll tear down a few buildings, but that's okay. Someone drove in there right away. Huh. Curious. There too, see? What's going on there? Uh, it's a Why can't I... There we go, there's the same. There's the... Location. And there are no traffic signs here, right? Nope. Perfectly. Perfect. Okay. So that's a bit more emergency services. Oh right, it doesn't really project much, does it? Again, it's one-way roads. I assume that has something to do with it. So it just can't project enough uh, out of a one-way street. Pity. Oh, you haven't zoned here either. Zone, 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 zone. Build it up. Build up the strip. That should be everything. Uh, we could probably could densify this a bit. The reason I have kept a low des density here is simply because of the runway. Didn't want to have high rises that they could fly straight into, so... So I think that's going to be how we're going to keep that. Okay. It is time, however, to end the episode. And that does mean I'm going to do a time skip again. So, what I'm hoping to do... We'll see. I don't know how much I'm going to do. But until we meet again, I'm going to try to grid out quite a bit on this square here. Uh, hopefully I'm going to finish gridding this section here, all along the shores here. Uh, and I might just zone up this area, at the very least. And possibly also whatever I build up here. We'll see. I need to expand the city so that uh, we get somewhere. And I'd really like to get all the stations up and running. And if you haven't already told me your opinion about whether or not I should stop avoiding mass transit, do let me know. We are starting to get some congestion, so it would be nice to actually start uh, using mass transit. So you let me know in the comments. I'll see what I see what I do from there. For now, time for a break. Thank you for watching.